Let's talk about nested fragments now. So what are nested fragments? Basically, like you have seen, uh, you can have a fragment within an activity. Similarly, you can have a fragment within a fragment. Now the equation slightly changes when you want to replace a fragment within a fragment. Let me show you how you can do that. So our current app looks like this. Okay, this is a fragment. And when I click on one of the items, the detailed view opens. So that's another fragment which is replaced using the frame layout attribute. So if you look at the XML file that we have for the detail view, you will see we have a couple of text views here. Now what I've done is I have added another frame layout here. And this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say nested fragment. It's like this will replace a fragment. Okay. So using this layout, uh, I mean you have a certain height and width in your app. So a new fragment will take over, you know, will replace this frame layout. Now the, the only difference which, um, which matters is when you, when you want to replace the fragment, you will have to use the child fragment manager. Now if you remember in the activity class, we use the fragment manager, right? This was the code to replace the frame layout in the activity. But in the fragment, you have to replace using the child fragment manager. Why this? Because the back button, when you click on the back button, then the transactions can be handled in a better way using the child fragment manager. Now that's another topic which we can take up um, sometime later. Or you can dig that up. Why, why do you want to use a child fragment manager? But this is how you will do it. So when the fragment loads, then what, what you can do is you can get the child fragment manager and you can replace the frame layout with the fragment. I haven't created a new fragment. I've just used the employee list fragment that we have. So when you run this, when you click on this, then you will see that the detail is displayed and the list is again displayed. So this is the concept of using a child fragment manager. It, uh, it can be handy for you. Uh, say if you want to display a stopwatch here or you want to display some running uh, utility kind of thing or a notepad. So this is the way you can embed a fragment within a fragment. So go ahead and try it out. I'll check in the code and provide the link in the video. Okay, take care. Bye.